guys, this is Renee from iteachblogging.com and in this video I am going to show you how to create quick links using Thrive Content Builder. If you're not quite sure what quick links or quick navigation or jump links are, I wanted to demonstrate for you on this blog post. So imagine how annoying it is if you have a really, really long page on your WordPress site or a blog post. It might be terrific information but it can be a real pain in the butt scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. So this page here is a page that I'm creating as a hub for me because I like to make tutorials for Thrive Leads. So I'm just gonna quickly scroll through this page and keep in mind, this is a page that I will be adding to over time. So right now it doesn't seem too bad, but as the page grows, it's gonna get worse and worse. So what I wanted to do was if somebody lands on this page, they can, get, they can come right here to this quick nav and then go, oh, Thrive Leads info blog post. Cool, so these are all the blog posts that Renee has written about Thrive Leads or Thrive Leads tutorial videos. Cool, there's all the tutorial videos that Renee has made for Thrive Leads, right? And it just jumps right to that section. And it's a nice little feature if you have a super long blog post that has a lot of sections to it, like if you're doing an epic post or something. Um, or you have a page on your website that covers a lot of different topics, maybe even imagine it's your services and you have multiple services that you offer and each section you write quite a bit about each service, then this quick nav is a great way to help your users get there fast. So it's super simple to create this with Thrive Leads. So I wanted to show you how to do it. I'm gonna use this page as an example. So you would edit the page with Thrive Content Builder. By the way, a quick tip here is that write out your page before you add this in. That way you can really think through your page because this thing is, is um, created based upon H heading tags. Okay, so H1s, H2s, H3s, H4s, etc., cetera, um, all the way through H6, I believe. And so you wanna make sure that when you're creating your page, you think through what those header tags are because as I'm gonna show you here in just a second, um, once you select, I want the quick nav to be H2s, or I want the quick nav to be H2s and H3s, you wanna make sure that that makes sense for the jump, right? You don't wanna have jump to the middle of a piece. In other words, if it's Thrive Leads opt-in forms, I don't want it to jump to a specific word or specific thing within my description there, unless of course that makes sense. I know that sounds complicated, but I promise once you start playing with this, it'll make a lot more sense, but I just wanted to put that out front. Write your page first, consider your headings first, which is something you should be doing anyway, but it's easy to kind of mix and match your headings as you're going and creating your content. I have a really bad habit of like creating subheads that are H3s and then I'll suddenly decide to use an H4 and that is bad whenever I'm creating a quick nav. I need to be consistent, which is a good rule of thumb, right? So here's what you do. Over here, once you have your page and you have it with Thrive Content Builder, you should see it. All right, so once you have your page open, you come over here and you scroll down until you see Table of Contents. So then you left click on that and then you drag it over to where you want it. All right, now, as you see, it's blank. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is click on your quick nav and decide. Do you want it to be your H1s? No. Your H2s and H3s? Yeah, that probably makes sense. Once you have that, then you click update. And you can see here, I decided not to get that specific with this because I wanted to break it into um, overarching categories. Here's my Thrive Leads info blog post. But if you wanted to, if you notice, I made, made each blog post title an H3. Let me show you what would happen. And it puts the title of each blog post so that they could um, click on the blog post and go straight to it. I, I think that's a little overwhelming for this circumstance, but if this was a like three, four or 5,000 um, word post, that might make a lot of sense because I might have my subhead that's about that category. And then I might have some points in here that I want people to jump to. But in this case, I didn't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the H3 and I'm gonna update it. And you notice how, a couple of things here, look how I have four here and three here. That's because if you make an update to the page, you need to come back and click on update here. So let me show you. You see what happened there? Whenever I updated my quick nav, 
um, it put the fourth link in there. Now that's important to keep in mind, and this is why I say do your page first, because um, you want to make sure that you keep this quick nav updated. It does not automatically update with the latest H2s or H3s or whatever. You have to actually tell it to update. So that's very important um, to keep in mind as you're doing this. All right, so another thing that I wanted to point out is that you can change the color of your quick, you can change the text here. You don't have to call it quick nav. It can be all about Thrive Leads, or you know, you could even say, click here for the section that you want. You can put anything in here you want. All right, but one more thing is if you click on this and make sure the whole thing is red highlighted and then you just left mouse click, you can change the color. So you don't, it doesn't have to be blue. It can be a color, that's the text color, hold on. Okay, so if you wanna change the color of this blue section, you just left mouse click in the gray area and you click on the color palette. And you notice here in the color palette how you have header background color. If you wanna change that to something else, you can. You can drag this little thing around. These are saved colors, by the way, right here. See this button, how save is a favorite? I have certain color codes that I use a lot. So I put in the hex color code and then I saved it as one of my favorites. But you can also just drag this around until you get the color that you want. And you can say, okay. And notice that you can change the background colors too to make it really stand out if you want. And um, again, you can drag this around or put in your color code, whatever you want. And then once you're done, you just click anywhere and you click save changes. As you can see, this really stands out a lot more than this. So I probably should consider that. As a matter of fact, I like that so much that I'm gonna change the color of that header background to um, that, which is my logo colors. And I'm gonna remove this one and I'm gonna leave it just like that. All right, so this is a really handy feature. It makes life easy for the reader. Um, also, you're getting your keywords, usually your subheads are your keywords. You're getting your keywords in the post one more time in a way that makes sense. So that's just a nice little bonus. And that's how you add quick navigation using Thrive Content Builder. It makes life so super simple. So always just make sure you hit save changes so that you save those changes. And I hope that this has helped and blog on.